Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on part 5 of how to interpret visitor flow in Google Analytics. In the last section, we spoke about the visitors overview page. Now we're moving on to my favorite section, visitors flow. So when you are looking at Google Analytics, on the side, you're going to see a tab at the bottom of audience called visitor flow. This is a really, really important part of Google Analytics because the events flow and visitors flow shows you the movement of a user across your site as determined through clicks. So you would actually go into your Google Analytics and generate a little code that you're going to place into every single page of your website, depending on which pages you want to actually measure. When you actually do this function and take a part in this function, it tells you through traffic, which is the amount of viewers who actually click through the site, as well as drop-off points where users end the viewing session. Keep in mind, you do want to take this with a grain of salt when you notice people are dropping off after only one or two page visits. It could be that your site was designed so well that they got exactly what they wanted to get from it and they contacted you, either through a blog comment or uh, a phone call or maybe even a blog submit, or sorry, a contact form submission. So start thinking about that. So just because people are starting to drop off early, early doesn't necessarily mean bad. As long as they take the action that you set out for them to take, you're in the clear. Having said that, you also want to analyze your drop-off points. If people are dropping off at the contact form without ever actually submitting anything, well then you might have a problem. What I would actually recommend in this stage is to go back to your car contact form and see what's potentially wrong with it. Is there an error attached to, this, um, attached to the submission form so that when people actually enter in their information they can't click send? Um, or could be that it's just not designed very nicely? Or are you asking for information that's a bit too detailed for a first contact? So these are the kinds of things that you're going to want to keep in mind when you do do Google Analytics. You can input all these different little code links into each page on your own, or you can hire someone to do this. Me and my team, we do this uh, for our clients. So always start to think about how people are going through your site and how you can actually make the entire user experience better for them so they complete the action that you want. Moving forward, for the next webinar, we'll be speaking more about key points that you're always going to want to do with Google Analytics. If you're looking for more free tips and tricks, be sure to email me or visit me online at childcommunications.ca or on Facebook and Twitter. Have a fantastic day. Until next time.